So this is one of the products that I have been wanting to try for my action cams since I saw that it was actually released. And this is the Insta360 magnetic selfie stick holder because there are a few instances where I like having the selfie stick, which there, here's the selfie stick right here, the Insta360 self, selfie stick. This is the friction one, which is my, my favorite out of all of them. One of the things I kind of wanted to figure out was, number one, if I'm walking around, you know, you have your camera on here and then, you know, you, you want to throw it in your bag or whatever, but then you have to put it in your bag and it's, not that it takes a long time to get it back, but you have to stop and do this. So having something that could mount to your backpack that you could just kind of, could be nice. Now, the second thing, and probably the thing that if I can get this to function will be what I use this most for, is that I'm trying to figure out how to mount this on my motorcycle so that I can have this mount maybe with like an industrial Velcro or something like that. I could have it on my dash so that I could have my camera there. And then when I didn't use it, it would just be sitting on the dash, like, you know, flat. And then all I have to do is twist it and pop it off and I can hold it out or get a shot. And then when I'm done, I just kind of click it back in and it just kind of sits there. That that's, that's actually my biggest hope because if I can put, you'll see it's got a flat back on it. If I can put some kind of industrial adhesive Velcro on the back, it's not as if that's going to interfere with it sitting on my backpack and it may allow me to use it, like I said, on my bike. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at it and you guys will be able to see how this actually functions because it's actually kind of cool. Okay, so again, this is the magnetic selfie stick holster, holster from Insta360. And you can see from on the back here, it kind of shows it on a backpack and I'm guessing that's primarily what its main purpose was. Um, it comes with a manual. I love the fact that they give you a uh, actual readable manual, which is excellent. I like that. Uh, they do say that this can go like on a backpack strap or if you wanted to, you could put it on, on like your belt if you wanted to kind of put it off on your hip. Uh, there's the actual holster right here. So it's got these little I guess they're magnetic, I guess. Little push push pins that are right there. It has this little piece, which is th the part that goes on your selfie stick so that it actually functions and, well, does what it's supposed to do. And then you get a tiny little Allen key right here. And that is, of course, just for, I'm guessing, like tightening up these little, these little screws and bolts on there if they, they, they get loose over time, this is my guess. So let's put you over here and you guys can see this. So this, of course, like most camera mounts that go on your backpack, you would undo this, which is actually built very well. And what happens is you put it on your belt or your backpack and this, you can slide it. Can you slide it off? I guess you want both of them done to be able to slide it off. So I guess possibly. Oh, so they, oh, they just tilt down on an angle. So really you, you just need one. Then oh, I do like that, that they tilt. I didn't even notice that when I was taking it out of the box. Anyways, let me just do this one back up again. Nice big screws though, like the ends. So it's nice, it's easy to get some connection on it. Anyways, if you had a backpack, you would like mount this onto your backpack and then all you would do is put that back up and then you'd cinch it back down. Again, no different than if you had it on like your belt. For me though, like I said, as you can see on the back, it is nice and flat. And I am thinking I could get some, like, uh, again, an industrial, uh, like Velcro or something like that, that I could use so that I could stick this on my dash like so, and then be able to... So here's how this works. Anyways, so you got this piece, yes? Because you're like, at first I didn't even realize it had this this piece in it at all. I didn't realize it. And I was like, well, that's... That doesn't, that doesn't function. I've been, I've been schmozzled. I've been, you know, anyways, this piece here, this piece here, and it's really quite interesting. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a little metal band plate in there. And as you can tell, there's a, a it's a fairly deep notch. What happens is that notch comes up from the notch. It has an indent. And of course, as it comes this way, it levels out with the side. Yes. Yes. 
So what happens is we put this on our Insta360 stick, get it nice and snug. And then you would put your camera, of course, on the top of here. So you wanna make sure, for instance, if you have an Ace Pro, you wanna make sure that you have one of the adapters that allows for the quarter inch or that you have a quarter inch to GoPro style adapter to use with this. And then what happens is there's, I think these are mostly almost like guides. They may be where the magnets sit, but they're also guides like visually. So let's say if I had this closed and I was looking, I know that when that little spot is forward, it's gonna go in here. So let's say, well, let's say I had it on the desk, right? Because it was on my motorcycle. All I'd have to do is make sure that that was kind of facing down and you push in and that's it. Like there's just, it. you can't, like there's just no way it has, I don't know if you guys can see it. It has a bit of flex, which is good so that it actually has some flex. It's intentional, right? So that it doesn't, doesn't shock. It's almost like a built-in shock mount as it feels. But what happens is if you turn it as if you were tightening this again, it moves. You guys, can you see that? It, maybe if I turn it, you see the metal piece move? It's, it moves inside. So what happens is as it moves, the pins actually, which is what's locking this in, moves up and becomes level with the outside. So that once it's there, this just pops off. It's the best thing. This is, this is what I've been looking for. Now, all they need to do, this is what they need to do now. This is it, is my guess is something like this, which you could, you, you could do this too. I, I, just, I just thought of it. If you were on a motorcycle, for instance, you could mount this on the bottom. Same idea, right? Same thing on the bottom. I have this mounted. Maybe I have it mounted on my handlebars, you know? So what they need to do is this here, this piece, they need to make this also a motorcycle handlebar mount because then I could have it there. And then all I need to do is just, you know, pop it like that. It'll be on there. It would have a little bit of shake to it. But again, super easy for me if I wanted to take this off, just kind of, just kind of twist it. Just kind of twist it. Will it work that way? Oh, it doesn't necessarily work that way. And now maybe I'm in a bit of trouble. Let's see what I'm, let's see what I'm doing here. Because this needs to, it needs to go with the threading. So what they would need to do is that they would need to reverse the threading for the bottom so that it twists the right way. Because on the bottom, you twist it the opposite way, which means that the arm unscrews, I think, right? Because here, it just pops off. Can they do it? Yeah, they, this piece is ready to go. This piece, this is the only thing they either have to do is redesign it so that these are on the opposite way, right? That they go the opposite way because I think then, like look how easy that goes in. Because when I'm riding, last thing I wanna do is have to figure out how to screw this on, or even with quick releases, it can be a pain in the butt. So I think this is gonna be awesome because I can literally have this on the motorcycle and depending if I have it, let's say on an angle, before I take it off, I can actually pull out and get it extended a little bit, then turn it and lift it get it out there while I'm like riding and be like, get a cool shot from the side with like my X2, X2 or X3, you know? And then when I'm done, just again, make sure it's lined up, pop it. And then I can just push this back in. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, this, this may be one of my favorite mounts, at least in, in regards to, you know, something being like, well done. That's, that's well thought out for sure. And you can use this again with an Insta360 camera, work really good with like an X3, an X2, something like that. But you can use it with any action camera as long as it has a like a quarter inch mount on the bottom or uh, an adapter that goes from quarter inch to GoPro. That's so sweet. I love it. I just, it's, it's so excellent. All right, guys, I will put links down below if you guys are interested. Uh, if you use any of the Insta360 links to purchase any Insta360 gear, down there. It helps me and costs you nothing, which is excellent. All right, guys, that's all. You're going to see this on some of my rides coming up this year for sure. That's it.
I'm out. Later.